Hello and welcome back to RimWorld. I know what you're here for. You're just desperate to know. Is Teresa going to successfully hunt this her? I don't know. Let's go into cinematic mode. Cue up some appropriate music. And unpause. <laughs> I mean, that was... Uh, <laughs> that was a lot. That was more interesting than I thought it was going to be. But we have, in fact, <laughs> managed to hunt a hare. Yeah. We'll have that for lunch tomorrow. Anyway, uh, Colony's doing pretty well, still. Uh, we've got all the basics down. Research benches are in. We do have a ritual opportunity coming up. Uh, Bloodfeeder's Rebuke on the 1st of August. I believe that requires... Uh, an effigy. Let's see. Light feeders rebuke. Symbol burning, yeah. So we need an effigy. Which needs cloth and wood. I don't believe we have any cloth yet. Let's see if we can make one out of... Uh, leather? No, we're gonna need cloth, so it's a good job on growing cotton, although I'm not sure it's gonna be up in time. Uh, I'll have to wait till the harvest comes in. 44% grown? 56 on the good terrain. Yeah, I don't know. Might miss that one, unfortunately. Uh, besides that, need research project. Okay, I'll do batteries first. Seems like a safe bet. And then I'll look through things and maybe pick something a bit more interesting. Uh, we definitely do need a ritual spot in here. We might need to declare roles pretty soon, actually, because we do have five people. Um, I guess for now, just a ritual spot in this room is okay, though. A decent room, you know. Anyway, I'll try and leave some space for a geothermal generator one day. Maybe put one more room in here with some more production benches for metalworking. I think I might also start the rest of the farms, put some fences around these things, and maybe try taming some animals. It would be really cool to tame a bunch of buffalo, I think. <laughs> Not sure how difficult that's going to be, but we'll give it a shot. Stick some fences around our farms to keep the wild animals out. And maybe a very big pen as well for some animals. It would be very cool to tame some muffalo. If that's possible. Uh, in the previous playthrough, some people were a bit unhappy. That all of our tame animals were kept in a little tiny pen, so... <laughs> this time... You know, I'll give them a nice big grazing area. Uh, it is very big relative to the colony, but that's fine. Uh, I'll stick a wall around the exterior next. And then we'll be nice and safe. And, uh, yeah, so there's a couple of things I'd like to get done this episode. We'll get the last little bits and pieces done that we can do now. I think it's just... Yeah, it's just electric smelting at the moment. I don't think we know how to do, uh, like, advanced stuff. So machining we'd have to get. So that's fine. Uh, we'll get this boxed off. Start trying to tame some muffalo. Probably get a real attack as well, if I had to guess. Um, so we'll see how that goes. And then if all goes well, we'll investigate the monolith. We'll investigate the exostrider. And then I might also have Tracer and Zix try for a baby as well. Which is a setting you can adjust now. Uh, why not? I think I can even trigger these guys to try and... Um, flirt with each other as well. See if any of them want to fall in love. But we'll do that last. For now, get started on the battery research, get started on the fences, uh, maybe we'll get some cloth made in time to build an effigy for the ritual, 
But otherwise, I'm just going to speed up time now. And we can see what happens today. Ah, we have a war merchant from the people of Boro. Now, a war merchant, I suppose, might have some decent weapons to sell. Uh, unless they're tribespeople. In which case, they might just have some bows to sell, but, you know. Beggars can't be choosers. And check them out. Yeah, these guys don't really have anything particularly good. <laughs> Um, I can at least sell them the heart that we have, since they have the silver to buy it. So that's something. Uh, otherwise, though, I think we'll leave that trade there. Thanks for the silver, though. Oh, wow, they left us a gift as well. That helmet looks pretty intense. Cloth ceremonial hood. Alright, I mean, thanks. <laughs> a bunch of hats. I mean, I'll take them. That looks right up Dela Cruz's alley. <laughs> Never mind, looks like Flux has gone and grabbed it instead. Yeah, I mean, I guess he is a teenage boy, that's, yeah. <laughs> also makes sense. Zix has opted for the Shade Cone. And Biddings has opted for the Hood. That's a shame, she has great hair. <laughs> Why would you cover it up? Oh, she's hard at work on the fence, anyway. The pen might be too big to start with, you know. I do have a tendency to go too big too quickly. But whatever, it's fine. I mean, once it's down, it's down, right? I could put a temporary bit here so that we can just start taming stuff. You know what? That's probably more reasonable. It's just... Let's cancel the larger section for now. We can come back to that later on when the colony's a bit more established. Small pen's okay, I think, for the time being. Another trader from the people of Boro. Bolt goods trader. Guys. You're way too early with this. But uh, sure, I'll see what you have. We've only been here like two days, guys. The, the bulk... I mean, you know what? I appreciate the enthusiasm. Keep it up. Oh, they do have cloth, actually. So I could pick up 40 cloth and build an effigy so that we can have our um, Ideal Legion event, if it's still available. And that's pretty good, actually. Oh, we also attained a muffalo, that's really good. The pen isn't quite finished yet, but that's <laughs> that's a great start. Uh, what else can we do here? I think that's everything we really need. Yeah, I think we're good otherwise. I'll leave that there. So... I'll see if I can actually get this done quickly then. I suppose it should probably go outside. I mean, I would put a burning effigy outside of it with me, but... You never know with the RimWorld. <laughs> let's... Yeah, let's get that built quickly. Let's see if we still got time to do our... Ideal Legion Festival. Uh, we can do it, okay. A ritualistic burning of a hated symbol. Participants will gather around a sacrificial structure, light it on fire, and celebrate as it burns to ash. The ritual target will be destroyed. If the symbol burning is fun or unforgettable, 50% chance of a random recruit of the same ID religion joining your colony. Well, that would be cool. Uh, completing the ritual gives 1-3 to three development points. Okay. Wait, room impressive. Listen, you do need to do this indoors. God damn it. Okay, well, <laughs> I'll remember for next year. Uh, this is a dated event, so... It takes place at the same time each year. Oh, I'm kind of disappointed that I put the effigy behind a tree so you can't see it. <laughs> That's on me, unfortunately. Hmm. Alright, next year. Put the effigy in a room. Don't obscure the effigy. It's kind of nice that the guests are here. Taking part in it with us. See if I can get a thumbnail out of this. Oh, that's not the sound effect you want. <laughs> uh, development points change from zero to one. Hey, we still got a point though. Terrible blood feeders rebuke. Yeah, participants endured hours of jaw clenching small talk while waiting for it to end. Yeah, the effigy was obscured by a tree. Bunch of smelly muffalo walking around. Had to do it outside in the cold at night. Yeah, just disappointing all around. I'll, I'll do better next time. 
Uh, I hope. Alright, so we need a room where we can safely burn something as well. That's, uh... Also good to know. Exotic goods trader from Rosabelle. <laughs> what is happening? Is this Cassandra, right? Let me just double check. Storyteller settings. Um... It's Cassandra. Three traders back to back is very randy. Alright, go see what the exotic goods trader has. Okay, some really interesting things here. We have some components I'm going to try and pick up immediately. We have just enough silver to cover that, which is quite funny. We also have Juggernaut Serum. Injected into the user's musculature where it adds energy to various metabolic processes. However, also psychically influences the mind provoking unsettling thoughts. <laughs> okay, <laughs> very interesting. Uh, they saw, they've also got a book too. This book establishes the author's authority on the subject of crop management. The author claims in her digest that fraudulent copies of this book exist, but that this is not one, <laughs> okay? Alright, I mean, sure, I'll buy a book. I don't see why not. We've got still got a little bit of gold we can trade with, so I'll, I'll try and uh, see if we can cover this. Oh, not quite. Alright, we'll just get 9 components instead of 10. That's really interesting, a book. I guess I'm going to need a library as well. Or do we at least... Do, can you do bookshelves? I didn't notice bookshelves. You can do bookshelves. Oh, okay. Well then. Makes sense to me we'd put the bookshelves by the research bench. Uh, cougar hunting Zix. Okay. <laughs> um, I mean, I hope these 10,000 people... Help us out with this cougar, but where are you, Zix? Uh, okay. Let's see, Zix. Run over here away from the cougar if you wouldn't mind. Our accuracy is not great. <laughs> ah, they are elfing us, though. Okay. <laughs> it's a bit overkill, but you know. Not taking any chances. Oh! And a wedding took place as well. Alright, that happened much sooner than I thought. They have not designated a marriage spot. It looks like they found a nice little place for themselves there out in nature. Fair enough. Looking great, Flux. I wonder if this has been changed at all in the romance mods. Zix and Flux shared a word about breakfast. <laughs> Right, if there's one thing I've figured out about Zeke so far, it's that he loves breakfast. Wouldn't miss it for the world. Zeke said a word about salty foods. Yeah, the man is obsessed with food. Alright, well congrats to the happy couple. Yeah, I'm sorry I don't have a, you know, a nice temple or something, but... So there's a wedding out in nature is still pretty nice, right? We've got weird glowing bog beacons around. Ooh, and raid. Uh, Wegnum. Group of Neanderthals. Okay, let's see how big this is. Uh, five people. Okay. Very densely packed. They've sent as many people as we have. It's not a joke. Ooh, we're out of power. Uh, let's make sure we get those refueled as well. It'd be nice to have some light in here. Was that attack immediately? Yes. Okay. Uh, hopefully the guys are not too far away. No, they're all pretty close. Are you guys all melee? No, three of them have bows. Okay. Well, I think we'll be okay. We've got lots of traps. This door's open. I imagine they'll walk in here. Right, that's up and running. Uh, animal, tomorrow. Yeah, follow Master while drafted. I don't want you wandering around. Yeah, if you wouldn't mind... Okay, let's just... <laughs> uh, for the time being, let's just make this... Uh, an indoor zone. And just force the dog in here. If it's not going to obey us just yet. Fair enough. Biddings will put you 
where Flux is standing. Alright, let's see if they do what we want them to now. They might set fire to my farms. I'm so far so good though. These are all slate spike traps, so I imagine they'll be quite effective. But Neanderthals are very tough, so... Yeah. No joke. Alright, decent. Definitely want to get those um, traps rebuilt quickly, though. In fact, let me just make sure everyone is on attack so that I can undraft you. You can take care of that. Now, question was asked, what do we do with people we down if we're not going to recruit prisoners? Um, I don't even have a prison built, but we could take prisoners and just uh, heal them up and send them on their way. Might give us some faction relations. Uh, probably don't have time to quickly set up a prison right now, though. Before this guy bleeds out. And I don't want to just patch him up on the ground, because I think he'll attack us. So... <laughs> Maybe I just leave him there and let nature take it court and take its course. Uh, it might be a good idea to build a little prison somewhere though. When this happens in future. Yeah, I'll build a little prison area here. Opposite the entrance. We'll use this for some metalworking room as well. And uh the yeah, the steam goes is gonna make things a bit awkward in this area, but <laughs> that's fine for now. Are you doing, Muffalo One? You got enough food here? Yeah, easily. Um, I've got all the Muffalo marked for taming, but they're all very far away from us. And how are our injuries? Anyone lose any limbs? <laughs> uh, not quite. Makes a change. Might as well strip this guy while he's here. Uh, awful tribal wear, awful took, awful duster. <laughs> well, never mind. A uh, wanderer joins Coldwell. A con artist named Coldwell has arrived and wants to join the colony. Great start. Uh, he's willing to contribute but will not leave voluntarily. Uh, this is a charity incident. If you turn Coldwell away, believers with charitable beliefs will be unhappy. Uh, yeah, this is a charity playthrough, so we have to accept no matter what. So, welcome to the welcome to the colony, Coldwell, the con artist. Uh, I'm sure you're going to fit right in. Uh, childhood organ form. Okay. Adulthood con artist. Misogynist, tortured artist, too smart, incapable of violence. What a great colonist. 16 social, <laughs> holy shit. Uh, and he does art as well. We did kind of need someone who did social and art. Okay, well. Make yourself at home, I suppose. What is your ideology? Post-lootism. Okay, we probably want to convert this guy. I don't think he's really going to fit in with us. So, yeah. Let's get you a bed. And we do need a soothsayer as well. Now, we don't actually have anyone who's good at social, is the thing. <laughs> so, what, who's our best uh, at social that isn't cold or... Is it still De La Cruz with two? It's still De La Cruz with two. Okay. De La Cruz. I think we're going to make you a soothsayer. Hope that works out well for us. As for Coldwell, uh, while this is happening, I'll sort out your work priorities. Pretty simple, actually. There's the social stuff, then cooking and art. I imagine it might be really difficult to uh, convert this guy, though. Ah, uh, successful role change, fantastic. Dela Cruz. Let's see how successful this is going to be. Someone with two social, I'm going to convert someone with like 16 social. I'll let you get lunch first. 
Insulting spree Caldwell. Good start. Uh, certainty fell from 93 to 87. Yeah, might be a while. I'm just instantly on an insulting spree. Oh god. Uh, <laughs> Delacruz and Caldwell are social fighting. Caldwell flagrantly insulted Delacruz's friends. This drove Delacruz into a rage and she began to fight. Yeah. Sounds about right. Caldwell does now have inspired creativity. I'll get the art bench set up in this little room. With the metalworking stuff, which is a bit odd, but... Didn't really want to stick it here because it feels a bit too cramped. Oof. Another raid. Dropped right on top of you. Well, that is really shocking. Um, oh, hey, I noticed Coldwell, you have automatically picked up a bow even though you're incapable of violence. Uh, I guess that's because of the weapons tab thing. Yeah, we'll get rid of that. Where are these guys dropping in? That's a bit concerning. Holy moly, okay, that's a lot of dudes, too. Wait, did it land on Flux? Is that what just happened? Uh, cut, left ear. The ceiling fell on Flux, bashing his left ear. Fantastic. Uh, okay, none of these straps got rebuilt. Not yet, anyway. I imagine these guys are gonna have guns, because they're dropping in from space. Sounds kind of advanced. Let's see... So yeah, the animal can attack as well. Okay. How injured did you just get? A little bit injured. Oh, there's a guy here as well. I didn't even see that one. That's rough. Okay, one down. Let's try and focus fire these guys down to take care of them quickly. Sorry, Zix, you're going to have to... <laughs> Handle this dude, are you any good at melee? Oh yeah. In fact, he's got a bloodlust. <laughs> and Zix is down. And Biddings is also down. Alright, they are fleeing though. So if we can just take out this dude. We'll be fine. Yeah, the raids are uh, a bit steeper than what I'm used to. Are we okay, though? Zix? Yeah, you just need a little bit of medical attention. You guys will be fine. Uh, we've even got a pretty decent doctor now, too. I should probably make sure that you're off good medicine, though. Um, at least until we start getting something in. Can we even grow heal root? Yeah, I think maybe we just reached the point where we can grow heal root, so... Alright, we're still surviving, though, you know. It's a bit extreme, but we're still surviving. Oh, the dog also needs rescuing. Are you okay? You have minor malnutrition. Oh, I, I didn't uh, remove you from the zone, did I? Yeah, you can go wherever you need to. Get some meat out of the slaughterhouse. I'll rescue you in a second. Insane ramblings, Dela Cruz. Yeah, that sounds about right. Delacruz has become completely untethered from reality, ranting about impossible subjects. You will snap out of it in a few hours. <laughs> okay. And we have some visitors. Ooh, that's another normal recurbo for us. Oh, actually, that might be the normal. Yeah, that's the one we had. Okay, never mind. I'll try and trade away these uh, primitive weapons to these guys. Looks good. Disease infection. Oh, Zix has an infection. Okay. <laughs> Currently trying to tame a muffler. Oh, he did it as well. Nice work. Uh, you can go on priority one bed rest, though, Zix, to be honest. Uh, in fact. Don't worry about the muffalo for now, just... Can I not send you to bed? Mm, well, come home anyway. 
Disturbing vision. Biddings has had a strange dream. In it, she saw a black shape unfurling in space and time, growing and consuming. The shape originated from a nearby crumbled monolith. Upon waking from the vision, Biddings feels strangely drawn to the monolith. It calls to her. Okay. I'm glad I got the tone of the expansion correct. Yeah, I think we'll we'll investigate the monolith at the end of this episode. Um, two raids back to back means Cassandra's probably going to leave us alone for a little while. <laughs> I would hope. You guys have all been tended. Rack's getting cleaned. Still haven't started research yet, but that's okay. We just had a few little constructions to finish off, and then this needs to get done. And uh, only really Coldwell is doing cooking now. Need to take some of the pressure off the other guys. Cold snap! Uh oh. Oh, I didn't even start doing clothes yet because I didn't think we'd need them just yet. Uh, I guess that's the next thing I need to do though, if it's going to get really cold. I can build heaters in here though, it shouldn't be too bad. Still got plenty of wood saved up for the generators. Alright, basic cold bills set up. Make sure you've got two parkers lying around, two toques, two pants, two button down shirts. Make sure they're between 69%, normal to legendary, not the ones that are being worn. Just spares in inventory. It should be okay. Yeah, farewell to our crops. Damn, it's only September as well. Not even into winter yet. Freeze is quite well stuffed though. We got meat, we got rice, we got meals. Uh, Biddings collapsed due to extreme exhaustion. I wonder how that happened. Is that just the schedule? Is it too aggressive? Oh, speaking of. I suppose the raid didn't help. And quest of a little busted ship. Another charity event, okay. Some recon armor would be pretty cool. Well, that's interesting. We get development points because we are charitable. Or maybe it's just because it's a quest and you just get points for quests. Um, so let's see. So Itakin will attack. Uh, the shuttle contains a Vauskos, another civilian, and three cataphracts. That doesn't seem too bad. So a Masterwork Recurve Bow or some Recon Armor. A good weapon would be nice, but some good armor would also be nice. Let's stick that on Biddings, help her out. If she's going to front line for us. We are not in a great state though. It's also about to be night. We've got 12 hours to take this. Okay, I was planning on triggering the monolith and this thing at the end of the episode though. I think maybe I'll just, I'll leave the episode here while the guys finish off the day and go to bed. And tomorrow we'll start with the busted ship quest and if this quest goes well with no injuries, we'll just immediately start doing the monolith. And that's fine. Uh, as it is though, you know, things are okay. I'm a little bit shaky, but we've got the basics. We even managed to tame one muffalo, so I don't feel too bad about it. Shame until he's all the crops. Uh, anyway, uh, yeah, I'll leave the episode there. So thanks as always for watching. Hope you're still enjoying it. And hopefully I will see you in the next one.